Hello, good day everyone. So for today, we will be going to discuss or we will deal with the topic of the human person as an embodied spirit. So here are the questions that we will be going to answer while discussing this um, a topic, the human person as an embodied spirit. First, what is an embodied spirit? Second, what essentially makes up a human person? Third, what qualities does a human person with embodied spirit demonstrate? So, when we say a human person, it is someone with an exact origin of his or her classification. So, meron tayo dito, kumbaga, still argument or debate about kung saan nga ba nagmula ang uh, yung, this um, human person, alright? So, from the biblical perspective, we came from Adam and Eve. So, yeah, so biblical perspective. And in terms of science, we have this theory that species evolve from primates or even the theory of evolution. Ano po? So, ito yung kumbaga malimit na pinagdedebatehan okay, when it comes to the origin or the evolution of the human person. Okay? So, what makes a human person? Okay, so we have here the unspirited body, disembodied spirit, embodied spirit. But before that, let us have first the two general forms to distinguish a human person. So we have the physical self and the cognitive self. The difference between the two is that physical self refers to the person's physical appearance and deals with the physical component of a person. Okay? So it includes gender, color, height, body type okay so in this um form in order to distinguish um the human person so for physical self so you can easily identify or you can directly observe and examine those um physical component all right and when we say cognitive self so it cannot be physically seen okay which includes beliefs desires dreams and intentions so meaning to say these are intangible okay yeah so a human person has a human body but there are three non bodily components such as mind soul and spirit so a human person is entitled and granted rights and privilege by the state on which he or she legally belong so what makes a human person are these three the unspirited body this embodied spirit embodied spirit so, when we say a spirited body, so meaning to say this is just a human body itself, okay? Diba we have three non bodily components, such as the mind, the soul, and spirit, or um, a human person is consist of um, the body and the soul, alright? So, in here, the unspirited body is just contained of a human body itself. But when we say this embodied spirit, just a spirit without body, all right? This embodied spirit is a spirit without body. While embodied spirit, so it focuses on the body and spirit. So, hindi natin pwedeng paghiwalayin yung, ano, yung body and spirit when it comes to embodied spirit. So, um, in here, embodied spirit, um, animating core living within each of us so it is known as the um driving force behind what we think do and say since we are an embodied spirit or us as a human person we are an embodied spirit right and we can say here that um as a reflection of well-being um this um body and soul okay they cannot be separate from each other since uh, they are in they have this inseparable union okay of human body and soul so in the context and views of christian philosophy so embodied spirit or embodiment of the spirit is inseparable nga ano po so yun yung sinabi kanina 
which is um, the body and the soul work together at all times. Okay? So, kung ano man yung iniisip natin, since um, this embodied spirit is our driving force behind what we think, what we say, or what we do. Yeah. So, the body and the soul um, work together. Alright? To do those actions, to do those things. So, to answer the question number three, what qualities does a human person with embodied spirit demonstrate? So, we have here self-awareness, externality, self-determination, and dignity. So, when we say self-awareness, it is um, that a human being has a clear perception of oneself. So, it includes thoughts, emotions, identity, and actions. Next, externality. So, dito pa pasok yung kumbaga we have this interaction or connection with one another. Okay? Or with, um, with another person or even in animals or inanimate objects. Okay? So, living or non-living objects or organisms, alright? So, in externality, we go beyond our limited self. Next is the self-determination. So, this is um, important self-determination to make choices and decisions based on our preferences. So, as a human being, we are um, goal-oriented and we are also free, okay? We are also free from our decisions, judgments, and choices. But we also have to remember that every action that we have or that we do or that we did has a or have a consequences, right? So these consequences might be um, good or bad depending on the actions that we did, all right? So for example, we did um, a good thing or a good action. Therefore, at the end, as a consequence, there is also a good um, result. But on, a da on the other hand, when we um, did something wrong or something bad, okay, towards another person, towards another thing, okay, so therefore, there is also a bad result or a bad effect, okay, or a bad consequence. So, although we are free, um, but still we have to remember that every action has a consequence, all right? Next is the dignity. So it is an inherent value and or we give importance, okay? So dito, um, kumbaga, pinanindigin natin or kumbaga dito, mas pinibira din ng focus yung ating uh, buhay. Ano po? That no amount of money can be equal or will equal to our self or our, our life. Okay, so dignity knows not to go beyond the rights. Okay, so next, human transcendence. Okay, so in this topic, um, human, the human person as embodied spirit. So this topic um, will enable us to know our potentials and limitations as an individual and also it helps us in deepening our understanding um, towards ourselves as a unique individuals, all right? So in here, human transcendence, okay, before we move on to the next, all right? So let us first have an activity wherein you are going to answer um, yes or no, okay? Yes, if you can do that certain activity that is being flashed on the screen, and no, if it's not. So you are free to um, use the comment box below, all right, for your answer. So I think there is or there will be only five questions or five statements that you have to answer, all right? So just use the comment box below for your answer, okay? So this is also to um, see if you are really um, watching or listening to this discussion, all right? So um, you are free to have your answer or to comment your answer down below. Okay, so first is, I can walk. Again, you're just going to type yes or no. You may write, for example, number one is yes, number two is no, for example, like that, okay? Okay, so I can walk. Just comment your answer. I can dance. 
yes or no. So you have to test yourself, okay? You have to evaluate yourself if you can do this certain thing. Okay? So, meron kasi iba na kumbaga kaya nilang gawin pero nahihiyan silang gawin. Okay? So, evaluate yourself if you can do these um, things. Okay? Or these actions. Next, number three. I can sing. Number four. I can clean the house all day. You may pause the video if you are going to type your answer, okay? I can clean the house all day for number four. And for number five, I can think positively. Okay, so based from those um, actions given to you earlier and having your evaluation towards yourself, so what do you think um, is it important to ask? Or is its importance to us? Okay? So, based from those actions, so, dit nagpapasok yung word na transcendence and its importance, alright, in dealing with our daily lives. Kasi, um, this transcendence, so, this came from the Latin word trans, um, two Latin words which are trans, meaning beyond or to go beyond and is there which means to climb okay so it is a state of existence or experience above or beyond the normal or physical level so transcendence is also the ability to surpass limits all right that's the why kanina dun sa binigin natin um, activity so i have told you to evaluate yourself if you can do that certain action or not okay because this transcendence simply, um, um, this open a state of thinking and feeling, then there is some that um, there is something more in life than just uh, physical or material things. Or this transcendence um, focuses on the ability of a human person to surpass their own limitations through physical and mental abilities. Naunawaan niyo po ba yun? Ibig sabihin, we have here these um, limitations and possibilities or what we call the strengths and weaknesses in our life. So, hindi naman mawawala yun. Hindi naman palaging sa buhay natin is nandun tayo sa, uh, kumbaga na sa classification tayo ng strengths lang, wala tayong weakness. No. So, sometimes we experience our own strengths and our weaknesses. And once those limitations... Okay, we, we surpass those limitations. So, meaning to say, um, we have um, experienced this transcendence. Okay? Because we are able to go beyond okay, our limitations. We are able to surpass those limitations or our weaknesses and um, make something um, more or something that can improve our own self. Naunawaan niyo po ba yan? Okay. Kaya kanina, um, this topic, uh, the human person as embodied spirit. So, it enables us or it helps us to know more of our potentials or our possibilities in life and to know more or to explore more of our weaknesses that can improve our lives more. Alright? So, I hope that you get my point. And religion and philosophy... Um, teaches um, human beings to overcome our own limits, just like, for example, in Buddhism. So, in here, Buddha realized that all people suffer. Okay? All people suffer and hindi naman po mawala yun. And that is what um, Buddha believes. And siguro, in our situation, some of you may just accept our own suffering, but um... Some of us may accept our own suffering as part of our life kasi hindi naman talaga mawawala or maiiwasan yung mga ganang bagay. But for Buddha, it is different. Alright? So, this leads um, for Buddha to examine and understand the word suffering. Okay? Which resulted in finding answers as in the Four Noble Truths and Eightfold Paths. Kaya siguro nabuo yung Eightfold Paths na yan. Okay? So, ito yung Eightfold Paths natin. We have here this right belief. 
we have here this right aspiration, right speech, right conduct, right means of livelihood, right endeavor, right mindfulness, and right meditation. So, right belief or dun tayo papasok sa right understanding or right view. Yeah. So, this is a correct understanding of the nature of things such as these four fold or four noble truths. Okay? It's all about suffering. Okay? So, right belief in and acceptance of the four fold truth or dun ito pumapasok sa kumbaga um, this four fold for noble truths is all about suffering okay next is the right aspiration for oneself and for others so dito kumbaga papasok din dito yung right thought and yung right intentions which is um eliminating um thoughts of attachment intentions and harmful intents that's why um right aspirations for oneself and for oneself and for others. Next is right speech, okay, that harms no one. Okay, right speech that harms no one. Meaning to say, we are abstaining ourselves from verbal offenses. Okay, ano ba yung mga verbal offenses na yun? So, this can hurt others' feelings. This can, um, not just a feeling, okay? They can, it can be, um, their emotions, okay? Um, or their... Um, mental aspects since um, once we hurt someone so it can it is also connect, connected in what they will think okay or we, uh, we can also add um, kumbaga, um, the effects of this um, um, words okay or verbal offenses for someone to do a certain action so I hope you get it and so right speech so we abstain um, ourselves from of verbal offenses such as lying, divisive speech, unforgiving speech, and irrational speech. Okay, so we have to remember or um, inculcate this um, eightfold fact path. And next is the right conduct, motivated by goodwill toward all human beings. So right conduct or right action. Yeah. So. We are refraining from physical offense. Ayan. Since we're talking about the right conduct or right action, therefore, um, it should also always be, um, or we as human beings should be motivated to do certain good or to do good um, about or to do um, good actions. Okay? Um, and we should limit ourselves to um, possess some physical offenses such as murdering, thieving, and sexual misbehavior. Okay? So, yan po. Yun po yung right conduct. Next is, right means of livelihood. So, or earning one's living by honorable means. So, right livelihood evading trades that directly or indirectly damage others such as trading slaves, Weapons, animals, for butchery, for example, intoxicants or poisons. So, always remember that you, if you are going to um, earn for your living, okay, it should be um, kumbaga in an in honorable means, okay. Ibig sabihin is yung makatarungan, okay, or yung kumbaga hindi tayo makakaano ng ibang tao, yan or it is not um kumbaga taliwas dun sa uh, mga kakulang batas okay o kumbaga yung sinasabi natin na marangal lamang ano po yan and next is the right and reward or effort to direct one's energies toward wise ends okay right and reward or right effort for seeking undesirable states of mind that have already arisen, preventing undesirable states that have yet to arise, and sustaining positive states that have already arisen. Okay? Right and reward or effort. Next is right mindfulness. Okay? Or right concentration. Wherein 
um, we have to be right or we have to be mindful in choosing topics for thoughts. Okay? Last is the right med meditation or concentration to the point of complete absorption in mystic ecstasy. So in here, um, it, is, it is said here that if you are able to do this eight fold fat even if you are not a buddhist right since um this is uh came from um the study or um the examination of buddha okay so since this is a set of practical guidelines designed to enhance ethical and mental development so you can um transform yourselves if you can um able to do this eightfold fat Okay, from your present situation and transcend to what you desire, you would be just um, believing in yourself. Okay, if you uh, if you're able to do these things, okay, if you're able to inculcate this eightfold path, all right. So if you you have this ability to transform yourselves or change yourself, just like in sinabi ni Saint Thomas Aquinas that of all the creative human beings okay we have this power okay and we are unique individuals that um we can change ourselves and everything around us okay so yun po yung about dito sa eightfold path next is on how are we going to evaluate our own limitations and possibilities for Transcendence. Okay, we have six. And the pop, we have forgiveness, the beauty of nature, vulner vulnerability, failure, loneliness, love. So this can help us in um in evaluating our own self or our self um for attaining transcendence. Okay, or for evaluating ourselves about our limitations and possibilities in life. So first is the forgiveness. So when we say um forgiveness, yan. So nagpapatawad tayo, pinapatawad natin yung mga nagkakasala sa atin or yung mga nakasakit sa atin. So when we forgive, all right? So it is said here that we are freed from our anger and bitterness because of the actions and our words of another. Okay? So ibig sabihin um this forgiveness Kumbaga, wala na yung bigat sa loob natin since nakapagpatawad na tayo, naibigyan na natin yung kapatawaran na kailangan ng ibang tao or para sa sarili natin. Okay, ibig sabihin, wala na sa atin or nawala na or malaya na tayo dun sa galit na nabuo, okay, or naipon, okay? At wala na rin yung pait nung kahapon na kung bakit ka or paano nabuo yung sakit na ibinigay nila sa iyo since nakapagpatawad ka na, Okay? And that is a good thing. Ano po? Yan. So, since um, we have here these limitations and, and possibilities, so I know that there are some situations or there are some instances that it is hard to forgive. Ano? So, nahihirapan tayong patawarin yung isang tao dahil sa sobrang sakit ng ginawa niya. But in here, we have to forgive someone. Kasi para mas mapalayan natin yung sarili natin. Ano po? Yeah, next is the beauty of nature. So, um, dito pumapasok kung baga yung appreciation natin doon sa beauty na uh, environment. Okay? So, kung baga dito, for example, there is a perfection in every single flower. Okay? So, kung baga dito, we appreciate the, uh, the sunrise and the sunset of our sun. Alright? So, we also... Um, wanted to have um, or to eat um, together as a family, okay? And we cherish that and we can see that these are miracles, yeah. So, these kinds of experiences can be truly moments of grace. Yeah, basta dito sa beauty of nature is kumbaga we appreciate the beauty of everything around us. Okay, and we give importance um, to everything that is happening on our, on us, on our lives. Yeah. And next is vulnerability. So to be vulnerable is somehow inhuman. To be vulnerable is to be 
human. Okay? So, the experience that we are contingent, that we are dependent for our existence on another is frightening. It's like, for example, to work in the office or study in school without acknowledging the help of others is to live without meaning and direction. Alright? So, yeah, that is just an example. And um, it said here, it is said here that we need to acknowledge the help of other people in our lives. So, such um, moments of poverty and dependence on others are not a sign of weakness, but being true with ourselves. Hindi naman ibig sabihin na kung baga mahina ka or vulnerable ka. Yun kasi yun ay vulnerable, mahina ka, madali kang maapektuhan, or madali kang mabago. Yan. So, that is not um, a sign of weakness, but that is, um, kumbaga, we are just being true with ourselves. Ano po? And you are ready um, to make um, some things possible within your life. Ano po? And next is the failure. So, these failures force us, or force us to confront our weaknesses and limitations. So, there are some instances or some cases just like for example when you when your relationship fails okay or you are a student and you failed in a given subject okay and for example your desires are not met or yung mga expectation mo is hindi mo nakuha okay we are confronted with the possibility of our plans okay and this um failure helps us to look upon a bigger world. Ibig sabihin, um, this confront us um, from our weaknesses and limitations. Ibig sabihin, hindi naman ibig sabihin na kung baga you failed is nawala na sa'yo ang lahat. Or you lost everything. Or you lost something. Okay? It is all about kung baga if you failed, you have to stand up. You have to prove others or prove to yourself that um, these are just failures that you have to um, experience, that you have to um, use, okay? In order to search more or to improve more of your possibilities in life. Ano po? So, such acceptance of our failures makes us hope and trust that all can be brought into good, okay? So, we have to accept that we will... Um, experience failure in our lives and that it doesn't mean that we have to give up okay everything okay katulad nga na sinabi ko sa inyo tumindig ka tumayo ka at patunayan mo na kaya mo ulit bumangon dun sa mga uh, bagay na yun ano po so you can also use those things okay para mas uh, maging matibay ka okay at para mas maharap mo yung mga um Iba pang uh, bagay or possible things na uh, maaari mong experience. Ano po? So, hindi naman halimbawa na experience mo yun is palagi mo nang may experience. So, hindi po ganun yun. Ano po? So, yun nga sinasabi ko sa inyo. So, this um, for failure, um, kumbaga, um, pinaranas lang yan sa atin in order for us to know more of ourselves and to have a bigger view Okay, or to look upon a bigger world that there are some um, possibilities in life in order to change. Okay, yeah, next is loneliness. So, our loneliness can be rooted from our sense of vulnerability and fear of death. So, this experience is so common, however, it is our choice to live in an impossible world where we are always happy and. Um, we are always um, accepting a life where solitude and companionship have a part. So, in here, um, in this loneliness, we can realize that our dependence on our people or maybe somehow on gadgets is a possessiveness that we can be free from. Okay? Next is the love. So, it is said here that um, to love is to experience richness, positivity, and transcendence. So, whether in times of ecstatic moments or struggles, the love for a friend between family members or a significant person can open us is um, can open in us something in the other 
um, which takes us beyond ourselves. So it is also said here that life is full of risk, fears, and commitment, also pain and suffering, and um, we're about to give up things we want, okay, for the sake of the one we love. So based from Aguilar, 2010, okay, in a, in a Buddhist view, so um, the more we love, the more risks and fears there are in life, okay? Kasi, ano, when we love, kumbaga, nandun na yung point natin na handa mong gawin kung ano man yung kaya mong gawin or kaya mong patunayan. Ayan, that's why there are more risks and nandun din yung takot natin when we, la when we love. Okay, hindi naman mawawala yun. Ano po? And those can help us in evaluating our own limitations and possibilities. Ano po? There are some things na kumbaga iniisip mo na hindi mo kaya, na kaya mo. Ayan, yung mga ganyang bagay. Ano po? Yun lamang naman po ang about dun sa ating topic which is the human person as embodied spirit and I hope you have learned something. You have got some lessons that you can brought up, um, up to your life and if you have clarifications or questions, don't forget to message me directly. Ano po, so I am open um, for your questions and clarifications and if you want to add something or if you have uh, reflected something based from this discussion, yeah, so you may send me a direct message, okay? So that would be all for today. Um, goodbye everyone and thank you for listening.